I'm starting off my February burning melt with this image. If you guys watched my last video, these are the closet doors in which I was speaking of. That look, twice, twice they've been taken off their track. I don't know. Pretty nutty. Do you see her? There she is. Tinker Girls. She's a pretty kitty. So in that video as well, I spoke about the candle I received from Bath and Body Works that was sadly broken. And instead of sending it back, I just decided to take it out of its glass shell and break it into meltable chunks. So that is a full three wick Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and cream candle, which is now going to be February's melt. Yep, yep, yep. So I think I'm definitely planning for that chocolatey theme. Chocolate and berries. Let's see what I have though in berries. But uh, there's one of the candles I got. And then there's the other one. So I bought three of them. Leftover from the SAS. I had originally went in to buy one, but they were already sold out. Halloween socks on because my feet are cold. There's the label for that. Um, I have still the one from December. Oh no, wait, January. Oh no, wait. Now it's going to be a February. It's downstairs in my cabinet, so I'll pull that out. February is a short month and I'm already lagging behind because I still have to burn my spicy eggnog and I'm halfway done with the gingerbread maple Yankee candle. So that's probably going to take me four or five more days. And then, so, and then I have another candle downstairs. So there, there's where we're at. But let me see what I do have here. Oh, strawberry pound cake. Mmm. Let's see what this one looks like. I think most of these down here are lemon cake pop. I'm pretty sure. Flip one over and see. Oh, oh more <laughs> apple pie. I was a little bit off, but I'm gonna probably end up pulling that out. So we'll we'll see what else is there. Strawberry pound cake. And we'll get it out of there. When did I buy this one? Oh, that's really pretty for Valentine's or for February. Let me smell it. Yeah, I think that would work. That's pretty much chocolate and, you know, chocolate and berries. So I'll throw that in the mix and I'm going to go ahead and pull that box out. So if you're curious what else I had underneath here, I had a caramel pumpkin swirl and firecracker pop. And then I have these. There's that perfect Christmas. I think I have a couple of those. That's the pine scent of balsam, whichever one it is. And then it was the night before Christmas. Boy, did I break that. I just banged it pretty good. And harvest gathering. Bright Christmas morning. Ball farmhouse. All right, that was in this flat. And over here, my box I have apple honey champagne. Harvest festival. If you remember last month, I think I went through that box beside me and dug out all the wax and kind of pulled it over. You know what? I might do that vanilla bean oil. Well. No, that's. I think a snow day, a snowman candy. A foliage. That's that pineapple, white chocolate. Did I say pineapple? It's bits of peppermint and white chocolate cheesecake. That's how much I kind of despise that wax. It's just not my liking. And 
pumpkin crow nuts. Birthday cake. I think that would go good with the strawberry pound cake. So we'll put that in. That's pumpkin as well. Pumpkin salted caramel, cranberry. Spice it up. Okay. You know, I'm trying to work through a lot of old wax here. And I'm doing a pretty good job. And that's good though, because like I'm ready. I want to purchase some new, but I'm trying to get through some old first. You know what else I'm thinking about doing is pulling all my Yankee Candle voters and chopping them in half and then just working through them through 2023. I have a lot of them just looking here, a lot of Easter, Christmas back there. My one wicks. Looky there, hot fudge drizzle. Oh, I want to grab that one. And then, oh wait, wait, let me find it. Let love rule. Raspberry tangerine. I think I have two of these. I do. Is that blurry? It might be. And there's another hot cocoa and cream. Sit that up there and we'll put that one down there. And that one there. And this one's going with me. And then I have some of these from Target that are just have the dust cover on it. I have a mini in there, pumpkin apple. No, it's okay. Soap plugins. And then over here I have a lot of um summer, the lemon cake pop and Fall. What's this? I don't know. This one's another firecracker pop. Okay, so I'm gonna grab grab these two right there. And what do I see over here? Strawberry daiquiri. Hmm. I don't know. I have that one strawberry. I think that's going to be good. February short. And then we get into March. Then I can start getting into the fruity, boozy drinks that I like to get into. I pulled my basket out that has some wax in it. And I got some Santa sugar cookies. And I think I have, yeah, three of those. Oh, well, we'll do that one since it's halfway done. And get some pine, apple, mulling spices, winter woods. That is, I think, an oatmeal cookie, a daylight and a chocolate chip, apple pie, and winter candy apple. I have done well getting through these. And then I have my, what's left in my sleeve. Salted caramel there. I think I ask that every time. Are they all the same? They are. And I have some pine. Oh, and they are strong. I wish I would have remembered those back in December. Okay, that's that. I think I'm done. So I'm calling this February's Burn and Melt. I have a single wick in the Let Love Room. Let Love Rule in it is Raspberry Tangerine. I wonder if they named this after Lenny Kravitz's song. That's a good song. I'm opening it up, see what it smells like. I don't have you on my tripod. I'm just holding the, holding the camera. Ooh, that is very fruity. Very raspberry. I grabbed what was left of this clamshell and the Santa Sugar Cookies. Vanilla Bean Noel Bath and Body Works. This is one of their melts. Birthday cake, Swan Creek. That should be a nice, not for human consumption. Okay, 
That should be a nice little um, neutral scent to have going on. And the reason why I did that because I grabbed the strawberry pound cake. I was going for that chocolatey fruity theme. It is in the three wick. This is leftover from last month, right? Butter, rum, eggnog. Why did I think it was spicy eggnog? But I want to light that here probably tomorrow because I have half of a gingerbread maple I'm still burning through. Leftover from January as well. And oh, I think that will go nice with it. And I really like the spicy eggnog one I burnt. So I'm just pulling that back out of my little cabinet as, as well as with this. Now this one's a leftover from Christmas. Hot cocoa and cream made it into January. Now it's going to make itself into February, but I, I'm almost certain I'll be able to get through it. And then I have my hot fudge drizzle. Bath and Body Works. Blue wax. That doesn't really remind me of hot fudge. And it's melted chocolate, vanilla bean, dash of brown sugar. Chocolate, vanilla bean, dash of brown sugar. What's on this one? I think it's steamed milk, chocolate, nutmeg. Okay, so very similar. And also, I still have this I want to cut up and use. I'll use it with my, any of these really, well, not the strawberry, but any of these over here. That is a cuttable candles from the keeping room. This is my wax I've already melted and I saved it for um, making um, fire starters. So my sister made some, they turned out really cool, but she took my other stash I had of these. So this is my new stash and um, I don't know, it's just something I want to play with. They'd be great for like starting a fire, you know. Um, like a controlled bonfire in your backyard. We have a fire pit. That's what I'm looking for, fire pit. And, oh, yes, I have a Bath and Body Works. This is leftover as well. So those are already done. I'm just storing those in that basket. And then I have uh, hot cocoa and cream leftover from last month. And then I have my cut-up one that... <sighs> I don't know how it broke. The bubble wrap that was in the bag or in the box was in not very good condition. It was all flattened out. The little air pockets they put in were flattened out. But it it really cut very... I mean, I just put a knife in there and um, put a um, cutting pad uh, underneath, like a cutting board underneath, and then stuck the knife in there and just went to town. That's why they there's kind of like these little pock marks on it because I was just chunking it up with the knife. My wax knife, that is. And I think, I think that's everything. I think it is. Um, yeah, was there anything else I wanted to tell you? I don't think so. I found some stickers in one of my boxes upstairs. So remember, everyone, have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I will be doing uh, nothing because I don't really celebrate it. Although I do like the pink and the purples and the hearts are cute. But, and I do like vintage Valentines. Oh, if you want to stick around for extra, extra content coming your way right now. Because I know this video is going to be pretty short. Let's move those out of the way. That goes in there. And you get a free ride. You get a free ride. We'll put this in there as well. I bought, or should I say, I won this box at the auction. And the reason why, look at those. Now, I have organized this box since I got it because I was looking through all the stuffs. But there is Cutie. That's for a birth announcement. Vintage Valentine's in here. Some postcards. I have a craft coming up on my channel that involves uh, Valentine. I want to get it made this week and get it posted. So she moves. So, oh yeah, and I am on my crafting channel. That's right. Yes, yeah, so I'll be on Cat and Paul's. But she moves back and forth. 
This is when a tripod will come in handy, girl. That's what she's saying. Does she move too? Yes, she does. Oh, she's putting her specs on. I think she goes up and down. Oh, there she goes. I specs. I'm your Valentine. To Hazel. From Grace. Very cute. I think that one pops up and down. Marjorie. I wish they still made Valentine's like this. I was looking because I wanted to buy some of those Hershey Creamy Hearts. You know what I'm talking about? The good ones. And so I was looking for the hearts. And once I found them, then I was looking through the Valentine's. And they're all like Paw Patrol. And here comes my mail. Woman dropping the mail. That's what that noise was. Kind of. Speak me out because I can see it through the corner of my eyeball. Perhaps I may seem backward, but let me make it clear. Make this clear. I'll put my best foot forward to capture you, my dear. Be my Valentine. And it just goes on. I got probably, what, a good 50, 60, mm, probably 50 in here. And then there was some other stuff. That one is broke. But I figure I could still use the background easily in a journal. Oh wait, I guess I probably I didn't know I had this many. So yeah, there's a good there's a good chunk. Um what does this say? Let me take this stuff out. Oh there you go, Dennis and Seals. Don't crawl out on me. There we go. The religious seals. Still on this book. All kinds of stuff. Little notebook. And the word in season. Look at that air melt. Oh, it's so so crispy. So just things. This has a little, uh, has a set of printing hands in it. Magnetic, magnetic printing hands. There's a big one. I stuck her back so she wouldn't get all bent up. And more than what she is. So just a fun box of stuff. Anyways, all right, that's all I got for now. Again, happy Valentine's Day, and I'll talk to you real soon.